Hi everyone! So we are still here in our Mathematics of Patterns. So for this video, we will be talking about rosette patterns. Let's first start with rosette patterns. A rosette pattern is a pattern with rotation. So this is required. Okay, rotation symmetry. However, this one is in or meaning to say reflection symmetry is not required. So remember, for a rosette pattern, the important thing is you should always have rotation symmetry. That is required. This one, the reflection symmetry, that is just optional. Okay? So these are examples of these are examples of rosette patterns. As we have mentioned earlier, this has a 120 degree rotation symmetry, correct? Let's write that down. This one, 120 degrees. This one, um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's 360 divided by 5, so that's 72 degrees, correct? And this one also, rotation of 72 degrees. So meaning to say they are all examples of rosette pattern. <clears throat> now, these are some logos of companies that you're all familiar uh, I mean most of this you are familiar with them, right? Are these rosette patterns? Which among these are rosette patterns? This one only, Mitsubishi. This one is the only logo which has a rotation symmetry of 120 degrees. For the rest, for the rest of their logos, they have no for the rest. For the rest, they have no rotation symmetry. They only have, um, they are only symmetric along the vertical line. Okay? But um, that is not what we want when we talk about rosette patterns. Okay, let's discuss different types of rosette patterns. We have cyclic and dihedral. Okay, so remember, recall that for rosette patterns, reflection symmetry is not required. Correct? So for the patterns, for the patterns that has no reflectional symmetry, meaning to say rotational only, rotational only, then we call them cyclic patterns. But if they have reflectional symmetry, they are called dihedral patterns. So for, for Mitsubishi, it has a reflection symmetry along this line, also along this line, also along this line, correct? Okay, whereas for this pattern over here, it's only cyclic because it's not, um, you cannot reflect it along any line, okay? So remember, cyclic, no, re no reflection symmetry, and for the hidden, has reflection symmetry. Now, let's look at this one. Um, I, by the way, I, I didn't, uh, the, the end fold. Let me just discuss about the end fold. End fold is, you have an end fold rotational symmetry. You can just think of it as the number of times before you go to the, you get the original, um, what's that? So, l let's just look at the, this one, okay. Um, is the cyclic or dihedral? Okay, let's look at first because they are all, these are all examples of rosette patterns. Now, if you look at this one, you can reflect it. Uh, you can, I mean, rotate it by 120 degrees, correct? Before you get the, you go back to your original, the original starting point. So in that case, we say that it is Threefold. If it is 90 degrees, meaning, what is that? That is fourfold, okay? So, what's what's happening there? It's like 360 over N, if that's your figure, 
this in here will become your m fold all right so let's look at um a is it cyclic or dihedral the answer is it is cyclic only it doesn't have reflection symmetry what about letter b is it cyclic or dihedral answer is it has reflection symmetry along this line. Although, of course, there are many lines, but let, let's just get one. Okay? How about letter C? Is it cyclic or dihedral? You cannot reflect it, right? So, it's cyclic. Order of rotation. That's the end that we were discussing, the end fold. Okay? So, for example, here, this is just one. This is just one. You can only rotate it 360 degrees, right? This one, two, correct? If you look at this, you rotate it by 180 degrees, okay? You now get this one, and so on. Um, what is the order of rotation? If you look at this one, what is the order of rotation here? The order is four, right? This is fourfold. This one here is threefold. This one is also threefold. And then, of course, for this one, so many. This is five. Right? This is three, and so on and so forth. Um, if you're watching Naruto, if you look at this video over here, um, look at his eyes. Okay. The patterns there, they are actually all rosette patterns. I'm not watching Naruto, but I, I, I guess some of you are, um, have watched that. Is it really Naruto? I'm not, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, some more examples of rosette patterns. So, the rosette pattern here is just this one. Okay? So, nice, very nice rosette patterns. Okay, let's make your own rosette pattern. So what I want you to do is to go to this this um, link to this website, and then um, it will tell you how to make a snowflake, a paper snowflake, and then that, that paper snowflake is actually a rosette pattern. So on our next um, meeting, on our online conference, I want you to be ready with your rosette. Patterns. And then if you have difficulties in creating your rosette patterns, you can just um, prepare your, your... But it's it's very easy to follow, okay? I just want to see them, okay? Thank you for watching my video. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget also to hit the bell button for notification updates. See you on the next video!